welcome to Cars at 100 guys and on today's video we have this very special 2022 Corvette Stingray C8 brand new mid-engine Corvette with dual clutch transmission 495 horsepower because this is Z51 package let's not waste any more time and let's begin this incredible and special review Let me start with the first impressions right away. This car feels very, very comfortable. I know it's a supercar. I know it's a brand new Corvette and everything. I know they refined it, but you have to really drive this thing to realize how comfortable this is for a supercar that is on the Ferrari level. This magnetic ride uh, that Chevrolet and GM incorporates into these cars are incredible. So. Comfort is one thing, but this car is all about performance. So I started with comfort because this car has a lot of modes. You have weather mode. Weather mode is of course for the snow. If you want to drive this car in a snow weather, if, if, if it snows or if it rains, you can drive it in rain as well. It will be drivable. So that's good. It's usable every day. Once again, it brings out that feature. If we go further, there's a uh, knob here. We go into my mode that I can adjust just like we did in the Charger Hellcat recently and Scat Pack that I reviewed not so long ago you can adjust this car but that car still has more adjustment than this surprisingly so we go further we have tour mode so tour mode as you can understand you can use this car for the long distances you can enjoy this car for the road trips once again everyday usable car comfortable and it's justified we go further a little bit and now we step in into sport mode territory. Now, in terms of the sport mode, I can tell you right away, this car changes the sound a little bit, it holds the gear and I can see all the stats here. The stats show me that this car has different steering adjustment, different suspension, different understanding of engine sound as well as the throttle response. So I can really feel this car, how it changes through the modes. If I go into track mode, track mode really gives me full potential of this car and gives me gives me the full sound full performance of this car and right away I can tell you that this car is all about performance I can really understand how this car puts good lap times this car competes on another level with higher end Porsches and some McLarens of course and of course Ferraris the biggest benchmark that Corvette engineers were coming off of and I tell you right away this car is engineered well as a base Corvette this is a perfect uh, idea to use every day as a supercar and as a sports car even if it doesn't have all-wheel drive like some other competitors on the market this car is all about performance anybody can drive this car unlike Hellcat widebody that we recently drove that has the same width of tire in a back 305 width tires you can understand that this car is more usable it puts power down better I can really feel the car is being planted I can even drive it with one hand this car is all about comfort of driving it fast you can comfortably drive this car fast you still have to respect it you still have to understand that this car has almost 500 horsepower and to be honest with you I think it has more than 500 horsepower this thing does 0 to 16 2.8 seconds just so you understand this was a very very quick territory of 0 to 60 back in the day and now Corvette C8 has it this car on the steering wheel has a Z mode so what this car gives you in terms of the option for changing your own uh, basically options through my mode of the dial you have the Z mode on the steering wheel so that Z mode gives you the ability to adjust these settings beforehand and then when you drive it you press the Z mode just like BMW M button and every other car that has Audi also has an RS button this car has a Z button so that Z button is tailored to what you will adjust and how you will adjust and you can just click once and you have that mode or you can take it off and go into whatever mode you were before so that's a very good option in terms of the adjustability for this car as well in terms of the steering wheel as you can see it's a square design 
and if you think that this is not comfortable you will be wrong because when you drive this car it feels like it's in the good place and the way it's adjusted the way it's engineered because it's small steering wheel it's not a, a big steering wheel but it's it feels even smaller in your hand because i feel like you don't have this roundness that is kind of a, taking a lot of space mentally and you have this comfortable feel that you can take it at 12 o'clock you can hold it or you can hold it on the side and you don't look like you are you know driving a racy car that you hold it at 10 and 2 you drive it just like it's supposed to be here because it's a square design i think chevrolet did a good job engineering the steering wheel uh, i never drove a car with a square steering wheel but i can tell you right away in a supercar like this it fits in terms of the pedal shifters as you can see they are quite large and comfortable so what it means is that you can shift this car comfortably in any way like this like this or like this just like you're supposed to so this car gives you a lot of option and they are steering wheel mounted they are not column mounted as you can see here and in terms of the design it really suits the steering wheel everything in terms of the design and how this dashboard is laid out it's pointed towards you and it's facing you like a cockpit and it really feels that this car was engineered around the driver more because this is where, where the most fun uh, out of two seats you can get as a driver and you really enjoy the idea of how everything is the buttons here on the side that have the you know climate control options and nothing too much not too many buttons in your face but you know there are a lot of buttons here but they're not in your way and it's a very good design one of the best designs that uh, cars from back in the day as Americans used to do cars those really really interesting cars from 1950s 1960s this same idea is kind of brought out to this Chevrolet Corvette and it's really incorporated well good thought makes good things and good design that's what the definition of a good thought is you have this Bose sound system that has 14 speakers and it sounds great you don't have to have such a great sound system but Chevrolet made sure that a lot of people who drive this car should not sacrifice anything and they have the sound system as well and that's another testament that this car is done well and engineered So now guys, let's talk about the exterior of this beautiful C8 Corvette. So let's start from the front of this beautiful C8 Corvette. As you can see, this is a brand new redesigned Corvette inside out. And this front is having this beautiful Italian looking design. And that's a good thing because American cars always looked American in terms of the design. And that's a good thing because this car incorporates this beautiful Italian looks at the same time it incorporates this american and it, you know this is american car because you see this corvette logo and this corvette layout still here even though it's a mid-engine now but in terms of the design as you can see you have the front the vents which are on the each side even though engine is in the middle once again you still have a lot of cooling for this car this car sits very low just like the Porsche we reviewed recently, but this car is a little bit high and you can also lift the nose if you feel like you need it when you exit some locations and it will also remember those locations in the infotainment. So very good convenient feature. As we go forward, you see this new light, daytime running lights here, nice Corvette logo here, beautiful, beautiful looking headlights. In terms of the design, Corvette really shows this beautiful, way of new design and cars that will go on after this will look like this and you know it's a good future because z06 came out recently that was based on this car even more performance and same looks incredible as we go around into this tires here and rims as you can see these are very good redesigned corvette rims you have z51 package upgraded brake kit all around you have Pilot Sport 4S that is also included into Z51 package. You have 245, 35, ZR19. These are 19-inch rims here. And you have a nice tire. These are summer performance tires on this car. You have this nice door-mounted 
beautiful looking side mirrors and they are designed in such a beautiful way you have the turn signals incorporated here chevrolet is really doing great things in designing this car look at this piece here a lot of different features you have cooling here no fake vents and you have here this hunch here as you can see this is something interesting it kind of harkens back to some of the corvettes of course because it has to retain this design but you have something different something more incredible as we look at this tire it's in terms of the size 305 30 zr20 so 19s up front 20s in the back 305 with tires and this car puts power down nicely precisely and you have here the upgraded brakes as well as the separate for the handbrake this is very modern it feels that this car is from top top levels of performance but you still have a hundred thousand dollar sticker price under hundred thousand dollar sticker price that really competes hard with italian and some of the german counterparts you have the corvette logo here stingray badge up top beautiful because this is corvette stingray c8 and as you can see here you have exhaust quad exhaust pipes real exhaust and i will show you the sound right now now these slides have been very controversial in recent days when this car came out because they're not round anymore as you all know car enthusiasts corvette enthusiasts you know corvette by the round tail lights and this car has them different as you can see here spoiler this is z51 package add-on as well that also includes with the z51 package limited slip differential you have the fuel cap here of course it's capless no fiddling with a cap to remove this roof you have the latches there are three latches one latch here one latch here and you remove this latch as well and then you can lift off this roof but let's go outside now second step you have to open the rear storage where this roof goes in there's a button that is here you press it then you lift this up and while we add it we can look at this beautiful mid-engine here for this mid-engine corvette very nice layout sits very low to come back to our roof you can lift it like this you have to lift it like this slide it here and lock it then you close this and it has an automatic suction in to close it and now you have a beautiful almost cabriolet targa top roof no roof for this corvette c8 and if you really want to feel this car and hear this exhaust you really have to take this thing off because that's where this car really shines see this is mid-engine now once again to emphasize the difference compared to every other Corvette this is the first ever mid-engine Corvette it makes 495 horsepower 6.2 liters naturally aspirated puts power to only rear wheels and this is the first Corvette ever that has mid-engine layout so the benefits are you have the sound in the back exhaust in the back and everything all the sensations are coming from the back this is a very first very exotic feeling for the Corvette. So let's check out this car on the inside and see what this car is all about in terms of comfort and technology of what it can offer as a new Corvette. You have this quality. For this car, you have this caramel interior, but you can option this car any way you want. You have the adjustability for that. In terms of the design, it's beautiful. You have vents here. You have this aluminum looking trim piece here that is plastic but it looks expensive it looks beautiful you have this dark headliner you can also cover it in suede for extra option and 
in terms of the design for the steering wheel you have the square setup but you have nice leather wrap and same stitching that is matching the interior of this car another very European interior you have options for the sound system as you can see you have a Bose performance series that has 14 speakers it has the beautiful layout for the infotainment you have two screens here both of them digital both of them adjustable you can go to different modes you have very nice layouts in terms of the speedometer tachometer you can go into track mode and this whole experience changes when you go into track mode as you can see whole different experience you have the tire pressure here psi for the engine oil you have the uh, you have the temperature for the engine you have the temperature for the coolant transmission temperature you have the gas gauge here everything is laid out correctly properly what you need when you drive this car quick everything is at your side you have also heads up display that gives you vital information as well as the directions if you need to they're gonna be in front of you you don't have to even look down a lot of creature comforts steering wheel has a lot of adjustability you have bluetooth controls you have controls for your media you have controls for the cruise control and it gives you a lot of features in terms of the z button so you can adjust this car any way you want in terms of what you want and how this car to behave you have adjustments for the favorites here you have uh, volume buttons here below very beautiful design in terms of the square layout you have the corvette badge in the middle uh, stitching would be nice over here because a lot of cars incorporate incorporate that but no flaw some people like it without stitching and corvette uh, corvette knows this chevrolet knows this and you have the option here for the chrome design here aluminum piece here as well very high quality automatic up and down for both uh, windows and you have the option here for the mode so this mode gives you ability to change different modes like i showed you when i was driving this car you can put this car anywhere you want preset modes as well you have nice transmission levers here levers because they are buttons you have the rear view camera that you can also adjust in many different ways and many different layouts this car is almost everyday car and as a daily driver I can understand some people using this car but you have to still have a nice weather outside to really have uh, this comfort of using rear wheel drive on this car but you can still use it because you have a weather mode you have cup holders here lots of creature comforts once again you have two cup holders here you have option here for the storage so you can open the there is a storage here you have option here for the wireless charger as you can see you can put big phone or a smaller phone it incorporates all the sizes very convenient you have a stingray logo there as well as you can see and you have a speaker there 14 speakers all around the cabin the beauty of the engine through the glass as you can see you can also view in your rear view mirror if you put this down you have different views in terms of the design of this rear view mirror you can lift it up you have the camera full time on or you can lower it and have the view to your engine as much as you can see but it is very limited sight through this rear view because you don't really see anything and that's why this camera needed to be incorporated this is very necessary thing as you can see here you have the climate control options this is the party piece of this car the climate control options for both passenger and the driver passenger on the bottom driver on top and you have the screens here as you can see small screens here everything nicely laid out i hope you enjoyed today's review of this 2022 chevrolet corvette c8 with z51 package if you have any questions about this particular car please leave a comment and i will get back to you and i'll see you next time stay loving cars